So I'm standing here with Paul Hinton. <laughs> I'm gonna break your camera, man. I see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> and we're at the wonderful Bristol Skateway in Bristol, Tennessee. And the reason we're standing here right now is because these plates here, which I think you brought to my attention at one point, that mm -hmm. it's it's too small for the actual boot, right? Yes, it is. By it's about... also mounted off center. Take a look at where this heel, the center of this line is right here, which would be the center of the plate, and look where the center of the boot is. Ah, so there's I no... didn't notice that with the skate with the wheels on, but yeah, the plate is definitely too small for the boot. And, and I have see now a officially difference. been skating on them for a year now. I believe you. Yes, sir. And you're asking, like, how do I do it? Yes, how do you do it? Because that's... No, I... A lot I, of luck. <laughs> so... You're a good skater. That's how you the, do it. <laughs> the, uh... The plate fairy visited me when I put my worn out toe stop there under my pillow. <laughs> <laughs> Brought you a new Snyder plate, wanted, huh? Right, and I wanted uh, a new, new toe stops and I got a, a bigger deal. <laughs> Insert picture of Gary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> With the wings. <laughs> so. Yeah, I think you'll see there's quite a bit in of comparison. size difference. <laughs> That's the comparison there. And plus those are what, 45 degree? Yeah, these are 45 degree trucks right here. And as you can see, these sit a little more, these are not 45, these, these are, uh, I believe the tenths. And what's the difference when you're skating on these things? Uh, 45 degree action will turn quicker. Uh, I mean, F45 will turn quicker. I will agree with that. It, um, as far as skating, you're not really gonna notice a difference except in the edge qualities. How quick it goes to the edge, how quick it comes off. I see. Um, and an Imperial was known as a, a spinning plate. A Snyder was known as a skater's plate. It was a freestyle plate. So if you wanna do spins, uh, the Imperial is also a 45 degree action. So I'm out of luck if I'm doing spins? No, you'll spin wonderfully on it. <laughs> it's just that it's set up to spin a little quicker. So I'm going to end up having to relearn how to skate in, in, in an essence. It might be a, a, a whole 30 seconds for you to 30 figure, seconds, yeah, that's a good. Whole 30 seconds to figure out the difference. I think you'll like it. I really do. All right, so all of this is together. You know, there's that one cushion I had to pry off. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if it's... Uh, it's a nylon cushion, but I'm wondering if it's going bad. Or maybe I tightened them down too hard. It could be. I mean, nothing looks bad in this, so that's, that's a good uh, part of the game. All right, let's get, um, let's see if we can get these babies off. The fun part. Have to do it the old school way. Break them. I always have broken <laughs> rather than try to chisel them off or hacksaw them off. So, one down. Oops. Let's hold on a second. Put that down. No, no, don't move that. Okay. I want to put them all back together gotcha. so we know that they're safe. And all the parts are there. Where'd you get this gate again? I'm remember? trying to remember, it's online. It was online? Because really and truly, I mean, it, they did a good job with the plate itself. And that kingpin, I don't know why they made the change, but it, 
I guess it's because you used to have to use a screwdriver. Mm -hmm. Now you don't. And the trucks, that's also different because that's that's not, those trucks didn't come with an XK4. So they put some special trucks on there for you. And we're probably gonna steal the wheels in the, no, wait a minute. Oh shoot. What? <laughs> All right, I got bearings too. <laughs> These are eight millimeter, are these eight or seven millimeter seven. axles? They're seven? Awesome, cool, okay. No <laughs> tragedy. So, again, I, I'm just showing you, there. there's the old holes, mm -hmm. and there, and putting it up again, and I don't, haven't mounted it or anything, or know where I'm putting it exactly, but I can tell none of the holes line up, so it's not gonna interfere with anything. Okay. Yeah, you just, uh, these uh, screws, they're actually very uh, pliable, mm -hmm. and you just bend them a couple of times and they snap right off. Otherwise, you take a chisel chisel and a hammer. There it goes. I thought I was bending it. are now ready. It won't take long now. All right, so again, same thing. Back together. Again, that gets everything put together so that you've got them. You can make a decision as to what you want to do. These toe stops are about shot. Yeah, yeah. So that puts that together. We are now ready to begin the boot process. This is called a Snyder marking tool. In actuality, I was just about to ask you that. If, you know, how you were going to... Well... Again, I can tell you right now, I normally center everything. Uh -huh. Here's the deal. If I say that, they made me a liar. There's supposed to be a little mark right about here. Mm -hmm. And that's supposed to tell you where the center of that plate is. Because as you can see, the toe stop sits at an angle to the center of the I plate. See. Mm -hmm. Okay? And if you try to do the center of the toe stop as being the center of the skate, then your skate's going to be off where it I needs probably. to be. All right, so I need to get all this apart, too. Uh, and I pulled it all out. There we go. So, while we're talking, why what you just saw me do, if you're going to adjust these skates at all, the first thing you do is loosen this hex nut. Okay. Okay? The last thing you do is tighten it back down. Okay. okay. If not, your truck will eventually fall off. Okay. I don't want that. Yeah. Unless you want to laugh. So I have a better turning radius on the 45 degrees, which means that's. I'm wondering how that's going to transition with me filming skaters and, and taking think, turns fast. I think you're going to find this turns extremely fast. Faster? No, I won't say it. Well, it's going to be faster than those. Because your weight 
your weight is going to be through here and yeah you're going to you watch <laughs> so these are much better oh any day of the week yeah any day of the week this this skate i skated on this skate from the time i was about mm, six or seven years old up until i was about 23 24. wow this was considered the best plate ever made. Then that plate came along, which is an Atlas plate, which is what Amy's on. Ah. See, the Snyder, the bone with the Snyder was everything adjusts from the bottom up. Mm -hmm. But your weight is coming from the top down. The Atlas adjusts, the adjustment for the action in the truck is from the top down. This is from the bottom up. Okay. You got the idea, well, you got any clue about what I'm? Somewhat. Okay. Well, loosening this, mm -hmm. then adjusting this affects the action. Okay. But you have to, again, everything you're doing is from the bottom and this is gonna be sitting down underneath. Okay. So everything has to be adjusted from there. Whereas this, your weight is coming from your head down to your feet this adjusts from the top down like your weight is moving. Okay. Okay? So this became the plate to replace this one. And it lasted for a good 30, 40, almost 50 years. Wow. Now, Rowline, which is another plate company, has gone back to adjusting it the opposite way. Hmm. And everybody's eating it up as if it's the, the best thing in the it's world. It's the new fab, but it's not. Uh -huh. Is that sort of like, you know, uh, reversing and stepping backwards? Uh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that would be my my thing with it, but I mean, they have to have some reason. They've been doing a lot of studying and designing yeah, and things yeah. because it, they have to have a reason as to why they done it. I don't know whether I can see this or not. Oh, my glasses? No, no, with the black on black. Oh, I see. And I think I will be able to see it. I think. Yes, I will. Cool. Here's an Imperial plate. Okay. And it's going to be way too, again, it would be way too small for your skate. So I just, that'll put your mind at ease that I got it sitting here. <laughs> but you can see that, de again, the degree of the action is very similar to what you were right, used to. Right, 45, so. Uh-huh. And so opposed to the 10. So, just, now that I've made a mess. So when you're doing these, this is like oh. a nine and a half boot here. So this is an 11. You see that? Mm-hmm. Oh, that's the mark. Uh-huh, and it's missing on yours. Go figure. Well, yours is new. See, but these were made, these were probably made back in the 80s or 90s. Mm. Okay. So these are the new, the new version. And that's the only thing I see it's lacking. What's that? That oh, little that, mark. that mark, yeah. Gotcha. Hoping that this is how you do it. Just giving it a tap to mark the actual holes. See where? No, that's the holes for the rivets. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yep. The, the holes, holes for the rivets. So I see two of them there, and that's good. I just want to make sure that I'm on. Hold still there, Paul. Get eyes. <laughs> center to center to center. So you pretty much have to center that curve to the front, to the to the very center. Actually, no. What I'm looking at is see the uh, the line. Uh -huh. I'm trying to draw that line straight down the center of that hanger right there, I the see. kingpin. If I and I'm pretty close. I mean, I'm not too far off.
Now let's look at it, because we can always move it. I think it's... What do you think? I don't think you could have <laughs> gotten it much closer. Well, back in the day, see, your boot, uh, the sole is made out of rubber. Mm -hmm. There was a time they were making that sole out of leather. And what we would have done is we would have taken this back to a, a belt, sander, belt sander and sanded it down to make it flat. Okay, so that's better. And so that you know, all I'm doing with these screws is just holding things in place to okay. get it to where I want it to be. Much better. So, what I'm trying for is I'm trying to make sure that the center of this is running through the center of this. Okay. Realize we're talking Rydells. They don't do anything true. Okay? <laughs> but, what I'm also shooting for is trying to have just about the same distance running around. Now, the inside's going to be a little further in because that's what the boot does. Mm -hmm. Goes in there. But, and I did pretty good because I can't believe, is the other one not got it too? I guess nobody used it anymore, so they just did away with it. Yes, I'm crazy. There's a method to my madness though. <laughs> Believe it or not, that's how my skate is mounted. Right there. Like that? Uh-huh. They've got sent you mounting bolts, so I'm gonna do it the right way, but I just, this is the way my skate. If you were a freestyle skater, nope, wouldn't do this. So one off. Two off. Thing about rubber too, it closes up as fast as you drill it. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Been broken, in, so it's easier to get close to. There it goes. Yes, I know you're not supposed to do this with a screwdriver, but this is a bad screwdriver, anyway, so. <laughs> I believe they call that improvising. Okay. One. Oh, it's right there. It's right there. There it is. 
is. Okay. I can tell. Probably replaced because I probably fit into it. Watch your hand there, sir. Mm -hmm. That ain't going to go anywhere. <laughs> Hope not. So, as I was telling you, the jump bar is not long enough right. to actually fit on there. But it actually is. All you have to do is take a hammer and tap it, and it goes right uh -huh. in place. But I remember when I was first learning to do this, I spent about 45 minutes to an hour trying to figure out how or why my jump bar fit when I took the skate apart, but it didn't fit when I went to put it back together. So, so you just have to give it a tap. You have to give it a tap. And like I told you, the first thing you do when you adjust the, when you want to adjust these is not with the Allen screw. It is with this hex nut right here. Okay. You loosen this first, then you can do whatever you need to do with the Allen screw, but the last thing you do is tighten that hex screw back down. Okay? If you don't, your truck will fall off on you. And I've had that happen a time or two on me. I'm sure Gary's truck never fell off when he skated on it. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I've ever happened was I had a, a plate break on me in half, but I didn't have a jump bar. I've had that too. Yeah, yeah. even with jump bars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started to panic because I looked at his skates and I said, "Are those seven millimeter or eight millimeter bearings you have in there?" And, oh, good, you got everything. Yep. We'll talk to you about everything too: the pivot pin and the adjustments that need to be made there. Well, his old ones were, were Imperials, so they're all 7 millimeters. So. But they were sure grips. These are sure grips. But I got 7 millimeter for them. Yeah, the, the, oh, trucks, okay. the trucks are different, but that's a sure And that, that kingpin is completely different. That's a sure grip plate. I that's guess a sure grip. Yes. You mean you could have got him That's a sure grip as opposed to a Snyder? Yeah. <laughs> I think the first plate I ever had was a Pacer Crown. Crown, that was one of my favorite beginner skates. Let me tell you what, I sold a bunch of them. Okay, so. I still think I have them. They're in Mississippi in an attic. Oh. I'll have to contact my mother. Yeah, have them, send them. We'll put them together. Okay. Now that it's locked on there, how did I do that? Here, Gary, use your hands. Don't you take that. <laughs> when all else fails, get him out of here. So. What you think? Okay? Good. So people put this again, thing on the wrong way? Right. So when they do, it ends up it ends up tilting it off mm -hmm. weird directions. It's gotta go the, the direction of the, the, of, of, of the, the Yeah, salt. okay. But uh, a lot of people do that and it ends up being a problem. Pretty close because the other plate. Yeah, no, that's good. I always double check and make sure that the widest part of the skate, foot is foot. That line should be dead center, and it is. So we're good. And I always told, told or like I told him earlier, though, the thing you got to worry about is this is no longer a as uniform machine right. as it used to be. Right. Uh, by the way, his XK4s, the heel on one of them was mounted over here. 
<laughs> in the event that you should ever have to take these apart again, if you notice, if you have this all the way down, it doesn't add up. Yeah. Okay, so again, you have to basically push it back down into place and then adjust your, your king pin. That's what this is, king pin. You'll, you'll hear me refer to that a lot in figures, you know, king pin on the line. Okay. Uh, this is the pivot pin. And again, you want to make sure that this is the, again, this nut, see how this turns? Mm -hmm. It should not be able to turn. Okay. It's got to be locked. So we'll show you all that when we get it all put back together here, which we're close. So what I'm trying to say to you, or was trying to say to you, this is not what you want to see. If that's floating in there that way, that's, that's wrong. And I've seen people take these pins and literally turn them into points. Wow. Okay. Because they're, you know, the friction is just too much for them. It's very important that the, this stays round like a ball. Okay. I mean, this is, and this is the difference between this pair, one of the differences between this pair of plates and those plates. Although that has a nice little pivot pin on it also. Yeah, just stick that right back on there that way. Yep. That's why. Uh huh? Just sits. Doesn't oh. turn. Sorry, that's fine. All right, so let me get this readjusted back down in here. All right, just take it apart. Oh, quick and ridiculous. I pulled it all apart. Where's my hammer? There it is. There we go. See what this is? <laughs> yeah. What's that say there? Left, left, back. yeah. Okay, I think we got this on right, so we gotta, it doesn't, as long as it's on the rear, that's fine. Okay. I was curious about that, mm -hmm. the markings. Uh-huh, notice. And this one. The other one will be LLF, right? LF. Yeah. And the reason for that is not because the trucks do anything specifically different. It's only so that when you take your plates apart and clean everything, that you've got a pretty good idea where it needs to go. Okay. Now we got it. And the final. This Yay! <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm going to break your camera. You keep filming me, I'll break it. Lined up really nice. So you give me 30 seconds on this, and uh, I think you're gonna love them. Once we get once we get them adjusted in the king pens and uh, you know adjust right, them where right. you like them to move, I bet you like them a lot. And Gary gives me 30 days. Yeah, Gary. Well, you know, one of us is an optimist, the other one is a what is that? Protagonist? No. Pessimist? Pessimist. There you go. So we have it mounted now, the new plates, the Schneider plates, which are the Super Deluxe. They are. Take them out on the floor here with the roller derby girls. Stay out of their way. The difference between these and the 45s is that I had on here before, they're very responsive uh, to turns and I thought I was going to have to make adjustments, but I don't. Even with the size.
but much more uh, responsive. I didn't have to make any kind of adjustments at all. Um, and before, the plate on the ones that I had before were too small for the size skate. So I wear a nine and a half. And they were set for a skate that was actually uh, smaller, I believe, if I got that right. So there was about this much room uh, on the heel, which whenever you're skating and you put your weight to the rear, you kind of fall backwards. On these, you don't, and I'll kind of show you. So I feel a lot more stable, but there's a little bit of a transition that I have to learn how to get used to these a little bit. But very nice, very responsive, very tight turning. That's it. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Gary. And that's it.